Hello friends and welcome back to Story Saturday. This is the fifth and final week of Compassion Camp and the special story that we have for us today is called The Marvelous Mustard Seed. And by the way, it's by Amy Jill Levine and Sandy Eisenberg Sasso. They have written a lot of books that we have read together. A child plants a mustard seed in an empty garden. It's an itty bitty seed. It isn't anything very special yet. There is not much to be done with a single teeny weeny seed. You can't eat it or wear it. You can't take it for a walk or cuddle with it. You can't write or blow bubbles with it. The only thing you can do is plant it in the soil. Then the rain falls and the sun shines and things begin to happen in the earth. But no matter how hard you look or how close you get, you can't see the tiny seed. The seed is hidden down with the moles, down, down with the ants, down, down, down with the earthworms. Then it happens in the place of the little bitty seed up comes a shoot, up, up comes a sprout. And up, up, up comes a bush, but it doesn't stop there. It grows and it grows and it grows. until it becomes a humongous tree. Birds make their nests there. The neighbors exclaim, a mustard tree? Amazing! Birds resting there? Surprising! People enjoying its shade? Unbelievable! Acorns grow into big oak trees. Cedars have trunks that you can't fit your arms around. Mustard plants are just ordinary bushes. But not this one. This one is a mustard tree. You don't have to look hard or get really close to see it. It is right in front of you. Some people touch it to make sure it's real. Others sit under its branches. They take the pods from the tree and remove the seeds and make spices. They take the mustard leaves and the seeds and make medicine. The spices and the medicine are there for everyone. The kingdom of God is like a mustard seed in the garden, right outside our windows, growing from itsy bitsy teeny weeny to colossal, from impossible to see to unable to miss. The tree is so gigantic, it's a wonder. It is not at all what we expect to find, and yet there it is, surprising us, helping us to imagine what can be. But 
isn't yet. The end. Well, friends, thank you for watching this story, The Marvelous Mustard Seed. I'm glad that you came to join us for Story Saturday, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.